Well, that was so bizarre because it was a show that came on like seven o'clock and my parents and I, we would watch the show, you know, we were having dinner or something and, and uh, they said, you know, if you send in a certain amount of songs, maybe your name will be picked and you can join this whoever. And so as a lark, I just kind of wrote some songs in and did it and then one night we're sitting there and they said to the guy, if you answer these seven songs in a certain amount of sec seconds, your partner next week will be Leslie Uggams. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so, and he did answer them. I was so like, I remember running out of the house down to the corner and there were some friends of mine who everybody watched that show and they said, they mentioned your name, you know, they, I said, I know, I know. And uh, that's how I got on Name That Tune. So the first week I was there, they asked me, uh, George DeWitt said, well, what do you like to do? And I said, I like to sing. And he said, oh, really? What do you like to sing? And I said, at the time, I loved, he's got the whole world in his hands. He said, so sing it. So I sang it. And the mail that came in from the audience was unbelievable. So then they wanted me to sing the next week. And in the meantime, I'm trying to win the contest with this partner that I for college. And uh, that's how I got discovered by Mitch Miller because he kept hearing about this little chocolate girl <laughs> that was on uh, Name That Tune. And the night he tuned in, I was singing the Lord's Prayer. And uh, then he had me come down to do some demonstration records for, he, he was head of Columbia Records at the time. And he liked the sound and signed me to a contract to record for Columbia. And when I was on the United Tune, I was 15 and a half, and when I did my first album, it was on my 16th birthday. <laughs>